Okay, that's tiny. What the? Today we're here at Plopsaland de Pan for our very first visit. As always on this Belgian mini trip, I'm here with Alex and Jemima and Zoe around to the back somewhere. Already my first impressions of the park are quite good. I love this town area, very nice theming and especially this covered over area there. And yeah, we're really looking forward to our day here at Plopsaland de Pan. The main highlights of today in theory will be the Ride to Happiness, which is a Mac Extreme spinning coaster. It's very highly regarded, apparently top 10, top 5 in the world, so we'll just see how that rides. As well as some other attractions such as Heidi the ride and Anubis the ride. So yeah, I'm looking forward to our day. <laughs> Woody! So the first ride we're going to be riding here at Plopsaland de Pan is going to be Heidi. Now this is a GCI roller coaster. I think it's the fifth or sixth one I'm ever gonna ride, which is quite cool. Uh, this actually has smaller trains as well, as opposed to something like Wicker Man, George and the Dragon, Woden or Troy, which I believe are the others that I've ridden. And yeah, so this will give an interesting ride experience. It's definitely more on the tamer, more of the family side, rather than something like Troy or Woden, which I thought were quite extreme. So we'll give it a go. I can bring you on board with a GoPro, and hopefully this is gonna be a nice, enjoyable, family wooden roller coaster. Well, Heidi was actually a really enjoyable GCI wooden roller coaster. I thought it had a lot of airtime. Naturally, being a GCI, the seats were very comfortable. I like the small twisty moments in it, and genuinely, I think that's one of my well, I miss mean, one of my favourite wooden coasters out there. To be completely honest, despite being very much a family roller coaster, the theming around here is also very nice. Gives me a lot of Europa Park Switzerland kind of vibes. I mean, it is themed to Switzerland, so it's basically that. Yeah, Alex, what were your thoughts? I thought it was really good. I mean, compared to yesterday's torture upon the Vacoma wooden oh, coaster, oh, yeah. you know, this this really did change my my view on wooden coasters. It is it's better than Wicker Man. I uh, have having been on Wicker Man a, a, more than once. It, this is better than that. That it doesn't pull any punches. I think maybe being a family coaster. The whole ride might have been brought down a bit just because of that fact you know they could have gone a bit more serious with some sections but they don't need to and they don't pull any punches where they have chosen to go that route so uh, i think yeah very very impressed with that really really good yeah this this is a like a, a high quality attraction it just shows that you don't need the most extreme most intensely themed family coaster out there to be successful this is a pure demonstration that you don't need to go big or go home with family rides and yeah heidi what a ride very, very good GCI. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with this type of park, the same company actually own Holiday Park, which is in Germany, and I visited there last October. Now, Holiday Park has Expedition G-Force, and Plopsaland has the Ride to Happiness. We're just walking around it now. Here comes the train. I have very, very high expectations for this roller coaster. Often time, oh. ah. never speak over a roller coaster. What the? Okay, yeah. People have said that this is the best in Europe. Some people consider it the best in the world. I mean, how can you not have high expectations for that? But one thing's for sure, it is a stunning and beautiful ride. The track colour really stands out and I love the fact how there's lots of filming opportunities for me. So it means getting off-ride footage of this, unlike Honda, should be a bit easier.
Oh, I do like hang time. Hey, this is weird. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's good. Here we, Here we go. go. Here we go. We're facing Three, backwards. Two, aim. Oh, that's spinning so much. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, hello. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my days! What? Oh my days! What the? I need to do that on the back. <laughs> oh my days. Well, I'll tell you what, the ride to happiness definitely didn't disappoint. That is a world-class roller coaster. The elements that it features are fantastic. You have some really wacky stuff like the one just behind me, as well as it, that it has some fantastic airtime moments and it's very strong in the positive forces department. I also love the onboard audio. That really enhances your experience. And the theming around this area is all very nicely done. It's not extreme as other places like you find at Europa Park or Fantasialand, which I haven't been to just yet, but it's definitely enough to really immerse you in a different world and the music certainly aids that. In terms of its ranking at the moment, it's very close between this and Untamed. So that's my first and second spot. I'm gonna have to get more rides on it. The rides we did have were in the front and the back row, but I'm sure once the ride warms up and it starts to become even more extreme, well, we're in for a big treat there. I'm joined by Alex once again. What are your thoughts on this unique Very, very impressed. Yeah, absolutely lived up to it. As we said earlier in the video, really, really strong expectations for this. And yep. they, they really did, you can tell how much love and care they put into this with the onboard audio as well. Everything kind of makes it, every piece comes together really nicely. You've got the spinning, you've got the audio and it all um, meshes together smoothly. You can, just looking at the train, anyone who's into engineering, just looking at the train itself and the track, it's all so well put together. As you can see, going overhead there, or at least just hear it, um, everything is so well done, so well put together. It is just brilliant, and it all comes together to form just an excellent ride. Really, really happy with that, and happy with the short queue time. You yes. can't complain too much. Yeah, we waited longer for Heidi the ride than we did for this world-class roller coaster. Like, how does that make sense? I do not know. What we're going to do now, though, is head down towards Anubis the Ride. Anubis, Anubis. the Ride. Why is yeah. it called the Ride? I don't know. They could just know. call it Anubis. But yeah, here we yeah, go. True. There you go. Uh, basically, it's a Gerslauer launch coaster. Should be exciting. Apparently, the launch is quite good on this, so we'll see how it rides. Oh, here we go. Apparently, it's pretty quick. That's tiny. What the? Anubis was a fun Gerslauer roller coaster, a little bit headbanging at times, but the launch, oh my days! It was rapid for such a small section of track. Those electromagnets are flipping powerful. Yeah, that was a fun ride, probably say in the top 25. And yeah, would highly recommend. We're now on the uh, on the top of this play equipment. Okay. Gonna get some shots of the ride to happiness, as well as some surrounding rides as well. And once we're over, I will get back to you. Oh, 
Reeves. Please keep your hands inside the vehicle at all times. So after a quick lunch break and a little visit to a Ford car, we went on the Mack powered coaster and it was all right. Didn't get two laps, weirdly. Normally you get two laps on each one, but nope, just the one lap on that. But hey ho, is what it is. As a kid's coaster, it's okay, nothing special. We're now heading on to K3. Weird sponsoring on this one. worthy that was <laughs> Those were some interesting family coasters, to say the least. First off with Roller Skater, or whatever it was called. Basically, the ride's themed to a popular band. Basically, the Belgium equivalent of the Spice Girls. And I feel, I feel really bad for the ride operator, because there was only one guy and he was just dancing like this. <laughs> just listening to the same songs again and again and again. But, hashtag Light Me Coaster was an experience. I've just left school, and so to go back to it was quite funny. It was certainly something a bit different, wasn't it? Definitely, yeah. I mean, I can say I liked the theming. I thought it was really cute. I, it kind of inspired me to just go and watch the show and have a go and see what it's like, because it, it can't be that bad. It's obviously quite popular. Um, oh, yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, just quite silly, quite whimsical. People seem to enjoy it. The coaster itself is just a bit boring. Yeah, exactly. I think Heidi the Ride is definitely the best family kiddie coaster in oh, the yeah. park, for sure. By, by quite a long shot, actually. What we're going to do now is we're going to head to the log flume because we're making the most of the log flumes in this country. Let's go. I think it's called Dino Splash. I may be wrong. 
Oh, yeah, okay, is it definitely is? Yep. Okay, so we'll head on the log, fru sure. log flume, bring the GoPro, because thankfully they allow on-ride filming here, which is a blessing. Alton Towers, please could you do that in the future? Just allow people to bring on GoPros? That would mean the world to me. Anyway, we'll see you on board. Oh, that looks so cool, man. Nice. Whoa! Oh. That's so cool. Oh no, my feet are soaking already. Oh. There's water in the bottom. No. All right, my feet are gonna stay up on it. Oh boy. Here we go. Wait, so the camera's here? Huh? It's the camera on this part. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, you're back. Oh no. Oh no. And here we go, ready for the next one. Oh, oh look at that. Really. Oh. I may have made a huge mistake. I think we have. Oh no. Oh no. I thought it was a two words. I thought it would be fine. So after getting on the two water rides here at Plopsa Land Pan, we've made our way onto the Swan Ride, and guess what's behind us? Nice. Yes, the ride to happiness really is the standout attraction here at the park. I really like how much charm there is at this place, and I like attractions like this. And they really enhance the experience. Despite not being a very expensive ride to install, you just need a few swans. The only downside is there's a lot of reeds. And we can definitely feel that now because it's all pedal powered. We are the engine. You guys enjoying your day? Yes! <laughs> oh, it's a bit bright. But uh, yeah, we're getting to the end of our day here now. We've got roughly an hour and 45, an hour and a half yep. left of our time here. So what we're probably going to do is Jemima hasn't done Heidi the ride. She was feeling a bit unwell earlier. And uh, whoever wants to will go back on the ride to happiness as well. Because we still need to get a few more rides in on this fantastic roller coaster. Like, just look how beautiful it is. It's amazing. Oh, we're facing forwards as well this time. Three, two, eight. Oh, who's spinning there? Oh! Yes. What the? Ah! Ah! Here we go, let's get some good air time here. Oh, shoot. Oh, my days! Ah! Well, we've had an absolutely amazing day here at Plopsaland Pan. Naturally, the highlight has been riding the Ride to Happiness. It's a bit of an awkward name, that one. A bit of a tongue twister at times, but it's a fantastic roller coaster nonetheless. Actually, what we did after we spoke to you on the Swan Ride is we then went and lapped, well, I lapped 
the ride to happiness as many times as I could. I've gotten in three extra rides, which means a total of six for me today, which is adequate, definitely enough to give a full review of the coaster. Have you guys enjoyed your day? Yeah. Nice, that's, that's all that needs to be said. Yeah. We're pretty exhausted now after doing two days of theme parks back to back. But this Belgian mini trip has been fantastic. And again, if you haven't seen the Wallaby Belgian job, uh, and again, if you haven't seen the Wallaby Belgian vlog, do check that out, please, because that's quite a good one as well. But yeah, from us here at Plops Land Japan, bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Like and subscribe on Stubboot. Stubboot. Whoa!